Good evening. This is tragic, and this is going to be a bonus uh, video. Y'all can skip this if you wish. Um, but this is really about population and getting max life. I've got max life. I am, however, missing max population in a couple of the uh, worlds. Um, and that's because there's a lot of tricks to it, and I'll kind of explain it as we go. Um, you have to really be observant when you play this. So, the maximum... Population for Fillmore is 914 people. I have 906, so I'm missing people, and it's a silly reason, okay? But it's because I have an extra bridge. The bridges take up space in the city, <laughs> so if I didn't have that bridge, I would be able to get one more house in there, and I'd have the population. So you have to be careful with building bridges. There's only two places that build bridges, so you have to be careful. Fillmore can have two. But as you can see, uh, my life is maxed out, which is awesome. So you build around, um, and I'll get into a little bit more detail after I show you all. So Bloodpool is the second one. You go down to Bloodpool. Bloodpool. Maximum population is 874, okay? I have 858, same thing. Here, you're allowed to have three bridges. I have a lot of bridges. Um, it's still, I still got a pretty good population, but it's not gonna build anymore. Um, one of the things is you want every, uh, no, hold on, we'll get back to that. Let's not start the how yet. So, Cassandora, the maximum population is 874. I have got it, and this is what it looks like. Now, remember, this used to be a desert. <laughs> also, when you start building... Nope, not this place. Next place. Sorry. I'll get it right. Alright, let's see if this fixed itself. is the pop, maximum population is 802 and I've got that when you build over here you'll actually get some mountain climbers I was expecting something more from this piece of information I was given I was given and nothing happened um, the trick to this one is this bottom row right here and I'll show you the best that I can so this bottom row here will not build houses while you're here, you actually have to leave after beating, getting certain far place in the game and go do other things and it will build the houses by itself. They're called phantom building, apparently. And that's how you get these houses. Um, all right, so we're gonna go to the next place, which is the island all the way over here. Our Marana, Mara, Ma, Rahana, or whatever the hell you wanna call it. Max 538, we have 538. It's pretty awesome. Um, and then we got one more. And then we'll get into the meat and the bones and, and explain how you're supposed to max it out. And it will actually say max at the top if you get there. You only need 4,600 total world population in order to in order to get your full life. And it, it will tell you that you're back to your original thing. So 650 is the initial population here or the maximum you can get here. And we've got that. So the total maximum population for the game is 4652. I got 4628. So I'm close. Um, but I didn't plan ahead because I didn't know better. I thought it was automatic. Um, I should have known better. It's a Super Nintendo game, but apparently one of the first Super Nintendo games out there. So, the first thing you want to do is you destroy all level one and two houses. 
So you get your area up to level three, and then you destroy the, all the levels underneath it. And you want to replace all the cornfields in the game with wheat fields. For whatever reason, that creates more people. Also, a little known fact, the score on the levels matter for your population. I didn't know that because that doesn't make sense, but it, it does to the game because basically you're releasing souls. So the more souls you, you get, the more people you can put because you're a god. Kind of makes sense. In fact, when you fight the bad guys on the map and you kill those like the dragons and the bats, you see the little the little white orb that goes back to the, uh, the, the, t the temple? That's a soul. So that kind of makes sense the third piece is minimum br minimize bridges which is why i uh, don't have the full population because i have too many bridges uh, you want to maximize like, like i said fill more two bridges or less blood pool three bridges or less um you don't have to worry about the bridges in Mar marana or north Park. so that's the first two worlds and the last step to get the maximum population is cover your map. It is impossible to make every. To, it is impossible to make sure that every. It is impossible to actually maximize your population, in any of, in any region without uh, covering the map with. The houses, the one exception is Cassandora, um, and then. You have to you have to let the the uh, phantom building happen and you come up with a maximum uh, or you, you can get your maximum uh, population um, I'm very close I wish I could have got it all and got the you know got to show you that but at least I got the full life and I will be going into here I don't know when I don't know when this video is going to come out because this is going to be the, the hardest video of the game um, this place is a nightmare. It's just a boss rush. So until then, this is going to be a very short video and mostly educational, I hope. Adios, amigos. Till next time.